What's up all you quantum maniacs to a special Thursday edition of Fan Friday and the NFL mock draft. Now, I'm here with the exact same setup as Dave Gettleman. Uh, we're gonna go through this mock draft. It's my first time doing it, so, you know, let's get it. But first, the ceremonial booing of Roger Goodell. Now, I told you guys that I wasn't a mock draft expert, so I'm gonna put this in the hands of Kevin Schrader from Good If It Goes and Twitter user McDonald Hare. I'm gonna be doing a seven on Cartman mock draft. At the eight spot, I tried to trade down, and I believe I find a trade partner with the Bucks for a first, a second, a future third, and then this year's sixth round pick, I believe. So now I'm thinking, right, who can I get with this first round pick? Thinking maybe Derek Brown falls, maybe a Makai Becton. But the board plays out perfectly in my favor, and we get Andrew freaking Fracken and Thomas, who, by the way, was a uh, starter along the Georgia offensive line with one of our rookie linemen, Luan Galliard. So that's just kind of an added bonus so far. Now I'm thinking, you know, maybe we take a corner. Maybe you're running back, probably not. But I'm saying you can't have too many cover guys. And <clears throat> Jalen Johnson is one of my favorite guys in this draft at corner. So I say screw it and take him. Now with this third round pick, I'm either thinking of addressing linebacker, but all the good linebackers are gone. Thinking of addressing offensive line but there's no one there that I really appreciate. Then I see Kyle Tucker on the board. Then I think the Pats might want Kyle Tucker. So I say, we get a future fourth in this third, Kyle Tucker. But then they don't take Kyle Tucker, but the point is the Pats trade up to take Kyle Tucker in this mock. So then we look here, then I'm thinking we take, where did it go? Oh, yeah, DT out of UNC. I haven't really watched a lot on him, but I've heard good things about him. Now with this pick, I'm thinking we take a cover guy because I never have too many of those and Patrick Peterson is getting up there in age. First I try to trade out because, you know, there's Bryce Hall on the board. But I couldn't find a partner, so I decided to just take Bryce Hall instead. So thinking about Jack Driscoll a little bit, but I decided with Bryce Hall at the end. So now I'm thinking we take Jack Driscoll right here. Then I see another Georgia offensive lineman, Salton Kinley, on the board. So I take him. He's got that chemistry with Andrew Thomas and Lamont Galliard. So I think it'd be fair to just take him and then just solidify a part of our offensive line for the future. So at this point, I tried to see if Jack Driscoll's on the board right now. If he wasn't, he was probably picked earlier than that. So... Now I'm thinking with round six, we don't have a pick, and then I don't think I pick again until 222. And then with this pick, I think I take the uh, <clears throat> project edge rusher, uh, Mike Dana. I believe he's got some pretty damn good upside, but his floor is extremely low. So maybe not the best fit in Arizona with Vance Joseph as our defensive coordinator. But interesting player, nonetheless, for this team if we ever want a project uh, edge rusher. And that's the mock draft. Uh, thanks, Quan, if you're going to feature this, dude. Welcome to the Dave Gettleman style mock draft. With the first pick, I will be taking the best player in the class, run stuffing defensive lineman Derek Brown out of Auburn. You know, we got some solid guys, you know, Dexter Lawrence, who we took at 18th overall, I believe. But I think we need another guy in there, you know, just get the nice run-stuffing ability that we've been really looking for. And with this pick, I'm saying maybe a running back, maybe a guy with no coverage instincts. But instead, we take Gross Blacklock, a defense tackle at a TCU. Get that nice run-stuffing ability. Just double down run-stuffing. We're in 1977. We got the run is the most important thing. We don't have a third round pick because we use those resources very efficiently on Leonard Williams, another inside defensive lineman who can stuff the run. 
great, just excellent use of resources by Dave Gettleman. And he's just one of the true geniuses in the NFL. Round three, we take yet another interior defensive lineman, I believe. Uh, yeah, we, no, oh no, we take A.J. Dillon running back out of Boston College, my bad. You know, a nice power back who could just pound the rock for us. And at 110, we take an interior defensive lineman because the run is what is very dangerous in today's NFL. Who's this rat trick Mahomes kid? Yeah, not gonna last. The power run is what's very relevant in today's NFL. So since we all know the run is what's most relevant in the NFL, we take another interior defensive lineman who can stuff the run very well. And <clears throat> at this point, the inside defensive line is stacked, right? But I don't think it's stacked enough. So in round six, instead of taking a lineman, I take a guy with no coverage instincts and Shaquille Quarterman. He gets them tackles. And that's what Blake Martinez is going to teach him how to do better. Get tackles 10 yards past the line of scrimmage. That's what's important in today's NFL. That's what we paid $30 million for. Now here, I think we're going to take another interior defensive lineman. The run game is extremely important, as we know. And that'll just help us stuff the run even better. And at this pick, we just take another running back. Because what if Saquon goes down with an injury? Then what if AJ Dillon goes down with another injury? Gotta have more running backs because the run game is what's important. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the first annual mock draft for the countdown. We'll see you guys next week, and we'll see you guys next year. Have fun watching the draft.